Imagine a bustling city, teeming with cars, cyclists, and pedestrians, all moving in different directions. The Traffic Control Center stands as a beacon of order amidst this chaos, managing the flow of traffic, ensuring safety, and maintaining efficiency. This, in essence, is what a wireless LN controller or WLC does within a wireless network. It's the traffic control center of your network, managing the flow of data, ensuring secure access, and maintaining seamless connectivity. Now how do we go about installing this traffic control center within our network? The process is akin to setting up a traffic control center in a city. First, we need to choose the perfect location. Much like how a traffic control center needs a panoramic view of the city's traffic flows, the WLC needs to be strategically placed within the network for optimal coverage and connectivity. Next comes connectivity. A traffic control center requires connections to the city's power grid and communication systems. Similarly, the WLC needs to be connected to the network infrastructure. This involves connecting the WLC to the network switches and routers. With the WLC connected we move on to configuration. Just as a traffic control center is programmed with traffic rules and timings, the WLC must be configured with the necessary network settings and policies. This includes setting up VLANs for different wireless networks, assigning IP addresses, and configuring security protocols. Next, the WLC needs to be integrated with the access points or APs, much like how a traffic control center coordinates with traffic lights at various intersections. This involves associating the APs with the WLC and ensuring seamless communication between them. Finally, we test and optimize. Just as a traffic control center undergoes rigorous testing to ensure everything runs smoothly, the WLC must be thoroughly tested for proper functionality and performance. Any necessary optimizations are made based on these test results. Why do we go through all this trouble you might wonder? Well, imagine a city without a traffic control center. Each intersection operating independently, with different timings and rules, would lead to chaos and inefficiency. Similarly, in a wireless network without a WLC, each access point would operate independently, leading to inconsistencies, potential performance issues, and a lack of coordination. In essence, a WLC brings order to the network, much like a traffic control center does for a city. It ensures consistent network policies, seamless roaming, efficient resource allocation, and simplified network operations. It's not just a nice to have, it's a must have for any efficient and secure wireless network. So, there you have it. It's clear that a WLC is more than just a piece of equipment. It's the nerve center of your wireless network, ensuring everything runs smoothly, efficiently, and securely.